Hey, Crisis 557 here, and today I'm going to review my pipe cleaner collection. So, let me just move this bag out the way. So, let's get started. Start it. In this bag, it has a little mini bag in it, as you can see. And here's your just some loose pipe cleaners. Um, got a pair of scissors so I can cut them up. This was used for the tree over there, but apparently we already had strings to hang up the ornaments, so I just had the rest. And these are some long, the longest pipe cleaners I ever saw in my life. And I got these from eBay from a, um, like a type of company that be selling these. And trust me, they are good. They only cost me $2, I think. Comes with ten long ones. I only used two, so that means I got eight more. But yep, and we got. I am working on another character, see Vector, but I'm not finished with him yet, so he might not look like himself now. And then we got some pipe cleaners in there, and then in here we got just. Used pipe cleaners, pipe cleaners that, pipe cleaners that, um, you know, say if like a head breaks off of one of my pipe cleaner people, and I don't have a way to like put it back on, I would just unwrap the character, and if the pipe cleaner is still good, I'll reuse it for future stuff. So let me put that up. And here I got all of these pipe cleaner packs from a store I went to called Joanne Fabrics. That's what it's called. They really had some good pipe cleaners that I bought. I bought 21 packs, but I only used one. And so, yeah. This is a tan from one of the packs. Alright, so, as you can see, my phone will not charge if anything is not bending that thing right there. Inside the phone, this part right here, like inside, inside the phone where you plug this up at, it's messed up. So, I have to bend the charger down in order to charge my phone. So, pretty messed up, isn't it? So let's sit down on this chair. Um, I do have cool creations. This is not a creation, just an old toy. I had since I was like six, I think. But I made creations like Knuckles. I made this not too long ago. Um, it only took me um five minutes to make. Yeah, five minutes. I have gum, a new gum, my other one ripped and teared off, like the arm and the head came off, so I made a new gum, I, let me fix this character real quick, I made Francisco, the cool thing about him is his arm can actually come off without even using like, as you can see, see that? So what I can do is I can just put that down, twist it, and it's back on. Yeah. Also, I made characters like Palutena. Sorry if some of these characters are bent. As you can see, I made Palutena. I used a green cloth to for to use for her hair and then I'll stick the pipe cleaner through it like one day to my wrap it around her head so it can stay so sometimes if you use force to rip it off it won't rip off and then I used glove to make the dress that pretty much has a cut right there and then I made her staff and whatnot I mean so whatnot really 
This is a character that ripped the other day. But it's the first character I made that I used the afro. But I have on my head right now. I made Jet the Honk. He's not finished yet. But you can see. I had a figure of him until he ripped. Yeah. And then I have figures like that. I have an eye eye figure. I, I already showed you this from my last Pike Queen review last year. But yeah. So. Yep. And thanks for watching my video. Like, subscribe, comment. And yeah. Peace.